This is Orava Castle. It's in the town of Oravsky Potsamak in north central Slovakia. The first written records of its existence date back to 1267. It's positioned high on a rock hill above the Orava River. It was built up, burnt down, built up again, and burnt down again numerous times. It didn't take its current form until the 1600s. However, part of it burnt down again in around the year 1800. The castle became a national monument only after World War II. But before that, it was used as a location for Count Orlok's Transylvanian Castle in the 1922 classic horror film Nosferatu. A symphony of horror. A German expressionist film, it starred a man named Max Schreck as the vampire Count Orlok, Nosferatu. The story was an unauthorized adaptation of Bram Stoker's Dracula, for which heirs of Bram Stoker sued over. It was ordered that all copies of Nosferatu be destroyed, but there was one alleged copy that had already been distributed all over the world. That print was duplicated over the years, and the legend of Nosferatu began. One of the world's first cult classics. In many people's lists, it's in the top 50 best films of world cinema, and it's been considered one of the most influential horror films of its time. Not because it's outright scary or gory, but because to put it simply, it's haunting. So come with me today as I explore the corridors, the rooms, the tunnels, the stairways, and the footsteps of Nosferatu at Orava Castle. Hey guys, welcome to this episode of Matt's Red Show. I am so stinking excited today, guys. We are in Slovakia at a castle where they filmed Nosferatu, that famous original Dracula horror film, Nosferatu, one of my favorites. So we are going to see some amazing things in this episode, guys. So stay tuned, we're gonna go tour this castle, and I'm gonna let narrator Matt do most of the talking in this one. Um, Cause he's got a lot better stuff to say than I do right now. Cause I'm still learning right now. But I hope you guys enjoy this episode, Nosferatu Castle. Thanks for joining me in this episode of Matt's Red Show, guys. Let's do this. <laughs> steep hill. Heading up a steep hill here. not believe the entrance to the castle almost looked exactly like it did 100 years ago. Yeah. 
this shot right here of the main character getting to Nosferatu's castle walking up the main entrance almost looks identical. castle is said to be haunted as well. Many people have reported intense feelings of being watched. Door handles are said to have moved on their own, and disembodied voices are heard throughout the many hallways and corridors. One ghost in particular is said to haunt the castle twice a year, once on Palm Sunday and again on All Souls Day, November 2nd. It's said that she's the ghost of the wife of one of the knights that used to rule in the castle. It's thought that this knight killed her for taking the side of one of his servants that was being abused. After he killed her, her ghost was said to have haunted him in the castle. Reports of seeing a lady in white roaming the castle have been made, and there have also been reports of seeing a lady in black as well. With the centuries of history surrounding the place, numerous deaths in the area, including witch trials, you can imagine how many stories of hauntings have come to be at Orava Castle. Directly ahead of me here is where Nosferatu appears in the castle for the first time in the movie. tell this is the spot from the two different archways and the plaque above his head. I'm standing in the hallway now where the main character meets Nosferatu for the first time. about to go into this tunnel that Nosferatu leads the main character into. Walking into this main courtyard, I was again totally surprised. It looks almost the same.
story of the lady in black that allegedly haunts the castle is that of a woman named Elizabeth. Legend has it that Elizabeth was a very smart and capable woman, and she would regularly rule the castle when her husband was away. At some point in time, she even swore that she would rule and keep control of her servants even after her death. Some believe that this vow is the very reason why she can still be seen today haunting the castle walls. Some have said that they can still see her carrying a lantern, always on duty, still trying to keep control of her castle. The tour takes you inside the castle and back out again numerous times to climb staircases and corridors to higher and higher levels of the castle. hard to locate any particular scenes from Nosferatu inside the castle. The movie is quite dark and the castle has been remodeled since then. Even so, it was very easy to picture Nosferatu in any one of these rooms in the castle. As we traveled further and further and higher and higher into the castle, it felt like Nosferatu could be around any corner. down almost 100 yards. Like a football field straight down. So this is a legit torture chamber.
going up. Going higher and higher and higher.
Interesting to note that the character Nosferatu has only about 10 minutes of screen time in the actual film. Just 10 minutes of screen time that changed movie history forever. Back down. At this point in time, I was blabbing about the audio guide or something, and I walked right past a scene from the movie. couldn't help but try to take in just a few more moments of this amazing piece of cinema history, Nosferatu's Castle.
guys. That's all the time I have today for Matt's Red Show. Thanks for joining me on this episode. This was seriously one of the coolest places I've ever been. Slovakia. Nosferatu's Castle. Amazing, guys. Thanks for joining me on this episode. Please like, subscribe, and share this video. Have a great day, guys. Love you guys. On to the next location. Let's do this. Okay, bye. Yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>